In this video, we're going to show you how to install the crank sensor on your Nissan Versa located on the back side of the engine. We're going to go up underneath the engine. And what we're looking at right here is that brown shaft right there is our CV axle. And then up inside, you can see that looks like a tinfoil wrapped harness. And then there's a heat shield right behind it. Now there's an eight millimeter bolt right on that shield there. We're gonna use our socket and extension to get up in there. Let's get and spin out that bolt here. We can use our pry tool. We want to go ahead and pop this heat shield off. Just going to push that up out of the way. And you can see we have our sensor up in the back here. I want to go ahead and disconnect the electrical connector going to this. right here so right here is the connector or the tab you're going to be pressing in on we're just going to pull that connector out of the way and set it aside now on the back there there's a 10 millimeter let's go ahead and use our ratchet socket and extension to go ahead and get to that we can use our deep socket with extension to get onto that Once that bolt is loose, you can just reach up there with that socket and extension, spin that bolt out. With the bolt out, simply reach up. You want to grab that. I'm just going to wiggle it out. It's held in place with a rubber O-ring, sealing it into the engine. Take you a little bit of time to get that, but just keep wiggling it back and forth until it pops out. Nice. Once that pops out, go ahead and slide that down and out. Go ahead and feed that up into the engine here. Now at this point here, we have our sensor installed up here. We just have to rotate it so that the bolt hole lines up so we can get our anchoring bolt installed. So go ahead and take your bolt, feed that up inside. Let's see if we can get that caught a few threads. Here we go. Now we're going to snug this, but it does have to get torqued. So we're just going to pretty much bottom out this bolt and then we'll come back and torque it into position. Using your torque wrench, you want to go ahead and torque this to 106 inch pounds. Once you have that torque, go ahead and grab that connector line that up and snap that on. You're gonna push it on. You're gonna feel it in here, snap into place. Grab that heat shield. I'm just gonna bend that back down in a position. We wanna get our bolt installed and we'll go ahead and snug that down. And get our bolt started on that heat shield. I'm gonna thread that in. All we're doing now is reversing the procedure of our removal. Go ahead and get our ratchet up in there. Now we're just securing the heat shield in place here. So we're just gonna snug this bolt down. All right, so once that bottoms out, get another quarter turn. Now at this point here, your crank sensor has been installed. If you happen to have an engine code for this here, you definitely wanna hop into the vehicle, use your scan tool and clear that code. Go ahead and take it for road test. You should be all set. 
When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.